I'm here at the hut at the sold out hip hop night, Rocked Up TV 2016. We've got XP and Adverse from Flame Gorilla. Yo, I write for the heck of it. Hope to die once the UK repay the deficit. All hail a pessimist, straight from his happy life. Inhale the better bits, exhale the negative. That's how I respire. Back in the day, I used to try like Martin the Fire. Now I'm that one of thought vibe wearing farm and attire. Knock it around. Quick fire rounds, we've got Chinese food or pizza. Chinese food. Uh, see, I would probably go for pizza. Nice Italian thin crust. I want a pizza now. Yeah, I've said that. There's good pizzas out there. Yeah, and a lot of bad Chinese out there. <laughs> tea or coffee? Tea. Oh, it's a difficult one, but first thing in the morning, coffee all day. But towards the afternoon, I'll have some good tea. So. Yeah, I'll stick on tea. Feet up, slippers on. Red sauce or brown sauce? Oh, man, that's a tough one. See, I'm just gonna go brown. Uh, yeah, that's me. That's awesome. Only in the last couple of years, I would say brown. Like the previous, never really, yeah. never really fuck with brown. But now so I'm brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. It's really sweet, isn't it? I've got a sweet edge. Yeah, yeah. But you can have a bad. I've never had a bad brown sauce. No. But I've had plenty of bad red sauces watered down and that. So now. Hating stuff. Yes. Or loving stuff. Uh, oh, it's, it's all about loving stuff. I mean, I, I do hate stuff, but I try and get rid of that and keep the loving stuff that that's just got to be that way but can't do that answer that one. Getting political now, Jeremy Corbyn or David Cameron? Corbyn? <laughs> that's not a question, that's not a question. It's not good. I think yeah. most the that's conservatives, the best answer I've had I think so conservatives would answer that question any differently. You know? I was wondering who you were going to say after Jeremy Corbyn that it wasn't with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Cats or dogs? Oh man, cats. Why is this? I've got two cats and a dog. So, nah, uh, uh, dog. On the fence. On the fence. I do love totally. cats. Can you? Can I just not answer that question? Or if he was because I can't, I can't give no, you. No, you've got to answer. I like the love of animals. I like the passion that you're sharing. No, I don't love animals. It's a cat and a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at the comments. Why are you guys a band? Why are we a band? <laughs> Me and Luke, who isn't in the room at the moment, used to write a lot together. We worked, we worked together since we were like 19 or 30 now, so that's going back a long way. And um, we wrote a track together that turned out to be a track called Wonder Thought, and that we'd written the verses for, and we never really did anything with it. And then we, between the two of us, we were kind of working with Down On and Off anyway. And then he jumped on a verse on that, and that we, we realised that we had something good, like as the three of us, so that became Playing Gorilla. So yeah, it was just through, yeah, just working with other artists, that's how we got to know each other. My high school buddies, we had a group and then I guess, obviously, uh, yeah, we shed men and then that's how we, we met and then, yeah, we just musically linked up and then found us playing the left on that. Yeah. Yeah. What influences you guys as artists? When I was a young kid, I suppose my dad would influence me a lot about my, my musical taste, so he, he used to love the 70s music, mainly like rock music. I had a, a very large vinyl collection, so I used to have a dig through that. My brother is, is a drummer, and a lot of his, uh, his youth was spent drumming in various rock bands and whatnot, so I, I have quite a good rock knowledge. And then I broke out and, and sort of rebelled a little bit, I think, because we didn't listen to um, any hip hop in our house, or, or there was there was a certain lack of funk and soul for sure. Um, and so then I rebelled a little bit, got into hip hop, and, and uh, yeah. So I, I, the musical influences for me is there's quite a lot other than perhaps maybe dance. I've never really touched on the dance scene as much, but I can feel it. But yeah, there's not much I don't like. I'd say. I think it's pretty much my dad listened to a lot of jazz, I grew up listening to a lot of that, and then uh, watching TV as a very young child, well, 95, so like 10, 10, 10. yeah, when I was about 10, 11, the um, greatest rap album of all time came out on the cassette, uh, and it had Looney's I Got Five on it. Uh, and that was the. I knew I kind of liked hip hop because I've listened to stuff before that, like probably Vanilla Ice and stuff that was out at the time or whatever, and I kind of liked the part of the lyrics. But it was at the point I heard Looney's I Got Five on it, and it was the first time I kind of heard gritty, non, arguably non commercial hip hop, and kind of it, with just a bit of, you know, grime and dirt on it, sort of thing about what's the point. Because the whole point of that song is like, I've got five quid on that, you know, that bag of weed, mate, sort of thing. And uh, from hearing that, I'm just like. Yeah, just get obsessed with hip hop, so I'm kind of brought up to where I am now. But you still, we, we still don't listen to hip hop and hip hop only, you know? Like. Oh, not, not really. 
fact, it's probably the lens that will possibly be the least to listen to in my uh, yeah, yeah. array of musical divergences. <laughs> 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 it's it, I didn't know that I showed you. It's a divergences, I'm not going to beat that. <laughs> Have you got any mad stories? Well, it's just basically uh, Luke's rubbish at drinking. <laughs> um, so, like, usually what happens is we'll set out with the intentions of, you know, like, it's going to be wild and that, and then yeah, by about half a day, Luke's had two beers, so he's like, and the hog's going up and uh, night over. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. But, I mean, like Ben said, we're pretty old now, aren't we, you know, in the terms of uh, the game and whatnot. We're 30, we're, we've been to parties where we've got mashed up. We've not, we've not, we've not, we've not I'm too much days. of an old man these days, I'd rather just go to bed and wake up the next day feeling alright. Yeah. I'll tell you what, the most mad story, if we were to do this interview afterwards in a non-Northampton -lo location, we'd go, we did this fucking gig in Corby one time that was completely sold out and we <laughs> no, really never knew anyone from Corby prior to it. Yeah, yeah, that's true, but yeah, that was when Play Billy became two, because that first died. Yeah, there we go, that's the story behind that one. <laughs> Flame Grower. Yeah. We're at the hut. Yeah. yeah. What are your lyrics about? Mm. We could literally talk for an hour yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Short, snappy answers to that. What, point. what matters to us, I'd yeah, say, yeah. You know, is the quickest answer to that. What yeah, matters yeah, yeah. to us, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, like you might wake up one day, you've got a little sort of burst of inspiration, you feel like you want to get something off your chest, perhaps. Everything is always about perhaps how we feel uh, in an emotional state or, you know, what, what it might be, might be politically or whatever. That I, I suppose it's just probably quite narcissistic in a way, isn't it? Like anybody else really gives a fuck about what your opinion is. <laughs> but it's just you, it's just that thing that you just write and you want to create something out of how you feel. When someone writes a verse, the first question that either of the other two ask who hasn't written a verse is, is what is it about? Yeah, what's if we can't tell the sentiment or what the chorus is going to turn into, it's the first question we ask them. Generally, there is a specific thing, even though like an underlying thing that we can then use to draw on that. So it's always got a specific Subject, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. What's your home scene like? Leeds, or well, West Yorkshire is quite UK renowned, or at least it was a few years back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say it had one of the best reputations hip hop wise outside of London through the work and stuff like that. But it has dissipated since, I would say, kind of fractured a little bit. It was fractured to start with, and there were people in people living next door practically who wouldn't be working together, and then we kind of Everyone forced it together with the cipher in my studio, and then it kind of refractured and stuff. But to be honest, there was there was a more boom bap coming to the time when we all unified. People were kind of on that boom bap hip hop vibe, and then I think it fractured off, and a lot of people got onto a trap vibe or a kind of space hip hop kind of vibe or whatever. So it's not as happening as it would, and hip hop doesn't go down as well in Leeds as it should, considering the size, the student base, and all the rest of it. It hasn't got a bigger scene, or it hasn't even got a regular hip hop night. They'll be, you know, out of towners will come out and play it, or you know, there'll be big headliners or whatever. But you won't have just a hip hop night where some dudes are doing their thing like and they did three years ago. But it's kind of fallen on its own. Oh, nice. It has, yeah. Sure. Why? Do you love Corby so much? But in Corby, you guys came out of nowhere, like, and you've always been. If I, you know, if we had to draw a heat map of like the place where Flame Grilla seems to be giving a shit about the most, or Corby's the place, it confuses the fuck out of us. I don't know why. It yeah. has a lot to do with you and a lot to do with Harry and other people. I but think Harry, I, I was aware of Harry from uh, Twitter and stuff, and uh, he's followed us for a long, long time since we ever first sort of kicked off. Yeah. And um, I remember seeing that it was from Corby, and then ever since I've driven past Corby or signs for at least Corby on the A1, yeah, I've yeah. driven past. I always thought, oh, there's a guy that likes our band. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and, then, and you know, like then yeah. obviously everything's happened with you guys, and it's yeah, I don't know, it's an odd one, but yeah, we love Corby. Yeah, so we do genuinely love Corby, Boom. man, absolutely genuinely love Corby. We want to come back and tour if we can. We haven't even played the gig yet. It could be awful. <laughs> we could get fucking ninth, but <laughs> here we still well, yeah, at nice. the moment on camera. I love Corby. <laughs> We'll wrap it up with one more question, which is, what's next for Flamezilla? What, what are the plans for the rest of the year? World uh, domination, yeah. baby. 
when somebody comes along and says, look, hey guys, Flame Grilla, you're like really good and you've got a good message and stuff, perhaps more people need to listen to you. How about like we pay for a tour and you can just travel the world and, and make yeah. music and, and people come and listen to it and give a shit about it and take something from it. If somebody was able to wave a wand and that happened. Yeah. But until then, the, that, that someone is the guys working behind the scenes. Yeah, we're creating. We're, 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 we're trying to get in as many little niches as possible, so we've got plans to try and get on Radio 6, Radio 2 as well this year. I wanted to get out to America and do some festivals out here out this year, but I don't think it's going to happen. But that's something we want to look at. We really want to look at Europe. We want to, there's certain niches, there, there'll be other Corbys around the world, and we want to find the other Corbys. Because it doesn't matter that Leeds doesn't want this, or maybe it does want this, it's just taking a little bit of time or what have you, but you can get big in Krakow, Mos Moscow, whatever sort of thing, or for the whole. It, it doesn't matter to us, like, it's just so finding people places. get the message, I think that's what it is, though, isn't it? Is it the, Quite a lot of what we talk about and what we say, it might be, well I'm glad that it's not regional specific in such that it's West Yorkshire, um, but maybe yeah we talk about, a lot of it is something that we think that other people can relate to and obviously I hope that what you've heard you like it and we're able to take some from it, if, if more people can do that then, and we, uh, I don't know, we're just going to push the shit out of it, yeah, yeah, yeah. just enjoy it and love it. And, Without think, compromising, that's important. Well, that's the main We all thing sat like, around and sort of agreed on like what we could do because we could sell that. Well, we couldn't sell the hell out. It's not as easy as like, okay, let's get on a trap beat and we'll make this flame grill thing for that. But it is a compromise where if we don't like the music or we don't want to work with the producer because the beat, you know, if some really sick producer gives us a beat but we don't like the beat, we'll tell them we don't like the beat. We, we don't compromise on that and that is a detriment. That is cutting your nose off. And if I know people who've like worked their way up much beyond flame grill and they have to make that compromise, they have to just go, well, I've got lyrics, let's just bang it on this beat because it's going to get big because it's X name that everyone knows, let's just do it. And rightly so, they've got bigger because yeah, of it. Whereas yeah, we're yeah. happy to, you know, if we've got to work a 9 5 for the rest of our lives, but know that everything we did was dope, that's got to be it. Hopefully, you're, hopefully you're happy with that when you finish Exactly, you know it, you know it exactly, that's it, it's the deathbed thing, it's the sitting on your deathbed going, I wish I hadn't done that whole body of work, it's just shit, because all you've got is the love of your, the music, that's it, at the point you sell out, you're doing it for really practical, commercial reasons, and it's never about it being a job, if we got paid from it, great, if we get enough that we can live from it, great, but if we can't, it's fine, we'll make it work, but we do it because we love it. It's never ever ever been about the money, I've always held down a normal job, I've just done this because this is what I want to do in my life, when I'm not at work, earning money so that I can do this. This is what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, other than sleeping and eating, you know, that music. I think that's creating is part, what part of the appeal with you guys and so, something that's uh, quite interesting is because you obviously feel like you haven't been recognised maybe on a grander scale, but anyone who does get wind of you now has a has enough music to get their teeth into. Yeah, I they agree. We've got big enough. You can get a super fan overnight. If they like the first thing they heard and then they listen through I two whole so. records, I hope so. Yeah. We rely heavily. We rely heavily on the, the the small, the great number of fans that we've got to spread the word because it is about word of mouth. I can put all the sponsored Facebook, Twitter campaigns in the world on, but at the end of the day, nothing's the same as your mate going check these guys out. They're sick. Yeah. Like that is worth a million pounds to us. Like sponsor money. Like it's it's so important that people tell their mates if they're feeling it that. So on that note, can we get some social media tags? How can people get in touch with you online? How can they listen to your shit? How can they buy your shit? Uh, well, we're on Facebook, um, Bandcamp. Um, it's all just Flame Gorilla, and if you can't find us, it's Flame Gorilla because someone's taken that tag. Yeah. Otherwise, flamegorilla.bandcamp.com the music. Spotify as well. We're on Spotify. Yeah, uh, iTunes, Deezer, well. you name it, you can get us. If you want to listen to us for free, you can do, but we hate you for it. No, we don't. We don't. I do. I don't. He I doesn't. He loves it. You'll know. find out. It, the dynamic works quite well. But, uh, <laughs> 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 Fellas, thank you for coming here. Thank you for selling the hut out. Big and thank you for yeah, having yeah. I just think it's fucking fantastic. Sam. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Peace. There's a breeze in his dump. You want your grass to be as green as it can. You need the rain feeding your plants. We're giving every season a chance. Even when it's freezing, there's a breeze in his dump. Thank you.